week one of the NFL, and we've got a couple teams searching for their first Super Bowl. It's the Bengals and the Cards under the lights on Thursday night. We find ourselves at the home of the world's first retractable natural grass field as you get a look inside State Farm Stadium in Glendale. Tonight, it's the Thursday opener for the new NFL season between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Arizona Cardinals. The wait is finally over. Brandon God and Charles Davis here on the start of a new NFL season, and we kick it off with a bang on Thursday night. What's interesting about these Thursday night games is oftentimes we hear people say, is it really fair for players to play on Thursday night? But what did we hear from both of these teams going into this one? How excited they were to have the spotlight on their teams, their franchises, the rest of the league watching them go at it. Let's see what this defense can do here. Ball at the 18-yard line in the red zone. One, right? Mixon with a first down carry. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15. A gain of three. Here that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Over the middle, it's complete. And the Bengals are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical. They've been crisp. And as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. Go, first go. and goal, a good chance for our first touchdown of the new season. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. On second and goal, one man stands in the backfield, and that's Nixon. Now Burrow. He's got Anderson right side. Touchdown, Bengals! Robbie Anderson! from three yards out. And the Bengals are on the board here first in the season opener. A long opening drive, but a very successful opening drive. We call that methodical, I guess, when it takes that many plays. Methodical and almost like a boxing match. Coming up here, this defense looking for a third down stop. In the second quarter. 11 MP, 11 mighty, 12. On third down, Burrow. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that will be. Okay, time to hop back into this one. It's a red zone alert with a first and 10 upcoming down at the 13-yard line. Inside give to Elliott. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Here's Murray. This is caught. And he's brought down. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball across the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. They scored touchdowns on drives one and two, and now they're trying to make it a perfect three for three to start. They'll try to run it in with Elliott. And no signal yet. I don't think he got in. He didn't. They'll mark him at the one. Another shot from the one on second and goal. And he is not going to get in. Is the big man? He's stopping at the one. No the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. Defense simply not fooled by the draw there. Well, they were thinking run to begin with, and what they tell their defensive linemen is, play the run on your way to the quarterback. If someone shows, go get him, and that's exactly what they did. And Hopkins has got it. Touchdown, Arizona. 
A great effort there. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Cardinals have taken a two-touchdown lead now. So a good start to the campaign so far for them here in week one. Yeah, all the things that you dreamed about in April and May and that you worked on in July and August, getting ready for this game, it's all coming together so far. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. Still more than a minute to go, so you know, there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well, so that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines, hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. Again, he finds more. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. And this offense in midseason form here in the opener. It's first and 10. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. The Cardinals are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Throwing again, Murray. Able to find Lazard. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. Yeah, he's got it. Touchdown, Cardinals. DeAndre Hopkins on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Cardinals would extend their lead here just before halftime. And that's a lead that excites a team as they head into the half. Good way to finish things off. Time to jump back in. Opening drive, third quarter. And this offense has it in the red zone, first and ten. They'll try the right side with Elliott. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Cardinals are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, that's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You know, So the situation, it's third down in the third quarter, and this defense just trying to get the ball back to their offense to get back in this contest. Now Murray again. He finds Hopkins complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle. A lot of points put on the board so far by this offense. Now they're looking for more. Already winning here in the second half ball in the red zone. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Ezekiel Elliott. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Cards will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. Fourth quarter, and it's kind of getting to be desperation time here for this defensive side. They need to get the ball back to their offense. They have a chance to do that on third down. Another carry tonight for the workhorse Elliott. They have the first down with that gain of four yards. 
Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in the version. This offense has been lighting the scoreboard up. Now the question, can they add to their lead? We drop you in a red zone situation in the second half. He's got his man. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Zach Ertz. Halfway to 100 now with career touchdown number 50. And the Cardinals are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Well, Charles, no matter what the prognosticators say before the season, whether they think you're going to be good, bad, or somewhere in the middle, you never quite know how week one is going to play out. But for them, it has been an impressive performance, and they are well. A field goal does them no good here as we drop you into this situation. Offense staying out there, and they are going on fourth down. Wide open receiver complete. And he will be brought down well shy of the goal line. They get the completion but cannot push forward into the end zone. And the Cardinal defense is going to get the football back. So they tried to... Murray's going to look to throw this thing. Trey Hendrickson showing off his pass rush repertoire that time. Oh, boy, he got a favorable spot there. The guys on the sidelines were raising their hands over their head and clasping their hands to signal safety. But the official marked it just outside the end zone at the one-yard line. And he'll get this up past the five to the seven yard line. 114 yards rushing for him now here in week one. A very solid start to this new campaign. Hopkins on the grab over the middle. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. To throw is Murray. A hit as he throws there incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. To throw, it's Murray. This will be caught downfield by Moore. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Murray now to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But I think a Cardinal was able to gain possession, yes. So they will hold on to the ball. Now another timeout called for by the offense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals 21. And with just inside of 10 seconds to go, they'll burn their final timeout. Nine seconds left. Altogether, a pretty shaky start to the year for this defense as they defend another first and ten. Back to throw it, Murray. And this one almost intercepted. Had a chance to come down with it in the end zone, but could not hang on. From the 21, it's second and ten. Murray going to throw. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. Well, CD, I mean, simply put, if anyone around the league wasn't paying attention to them to start the season, they will be heading into week two. This has been an impressive week one performance. They've certainly announced that they are ready to go, haven't they? They wanted to send a message out to the rest of the league. You better put your eyes on us. We may be someone who has to Pinheiro now to add the extra point. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. A good drive that time as they go nine plays 
throws it all. And it's finished off by the touchdown from DeAndre Hopkins. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This one fielded at the five. And that final kickoff concludes the ball game, partner, and one side a really nice win in this one. They were good on offense and on defense. And I'm guessing in the other locker room, partner, the head coach is just telling this team, hey, we didn't play well enough to keep it close enough where that one possession down the stretch might have given us an opportunity to win the game. So for Arizona, they begin the new campaign with a victory here in front of the home crowd in the Thursday opener. And now they'll have a few extra days before they face the Rams next week. Meanwhile, for the Bengals, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they'll look to get back on track next week as they travel to Denver to take on the Broncos.